Our gracious Heavenly Father, you are most good and most wise. We thank you, Lord, for this Lord's Day. We thank you for the wonderful psalm sing that we had yesterday evening, the opportunity to sing the psalms, to sing your word um, out at the uh, town square. Uh, we thank you that we have the opportunity to dive back into your word this morning as we uh, examine Christ's role as our great prophet. We pray that we would draw closer to you, Lord, and learn more of, of who you are. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. All right, so... Um, you, do you guys have handouts yet or no? Grab them. Okay. <laughs> All right, then in that case, I'll go ahead and just, I'll read the question and uh, I'll read the answer. How does Christ execute the office of a prophet? Christ executes the office of a prophet in his revealing to the church in all ages by his spirit and word in diverse ways of administration, the whole will of God, in all things concerning their edification and salvation. Now, despite all the kind of intricacies of this statement, it has one central message. Can I get a couple of uh, gentlemen to help hand out the uh, handouts, please? Um, There is one central message. Christ executes the office of prophet in his revealing to... His church, the whole will of God. Okay? The rest of this is really just kind of prepositional phases that are attached onto that. Okay? Attached onto this core statement. Um, He does this in all ages, by His Spirit, for our sanctification. Okay? Now, these happen to be very important prepositional phrases. Okay? And we're going to discuss them. But the fact remains that the way Christ executes His role as a prophet is to reveal the whole will.